This is the inspiring journey of Moonjal Brothers who built the world's largest bicycle company. Bhupinder Singh Highlights It all began with Brijmohan Lal Moonjal and his three brothers, Dayanand Moonjal, Satyanand Moonjal, and O.M. Prakash Moonjal. Hero Cycles had created history by producing more than 22 lakh cycles every year, they gave a share to the dealers in the company's profit. As a kid, you must have enjoyed playing games like Pactum Pacte, Catch Me, Maram Pity, Dodgeball, Coco, Cancha, Marbles, etc. with friends. But every childhood is incomplete if you haven't roamed around with your friends on your bicycle, or more accurately, your hero cycle. Did you know their very interesting story behind the hero cycle which became a part of all our lives? It is said that once the manufacturing of hero cycles had stopped due to a strike in the company, at that point, its owner started manufacturing the cycles by himself. Other top employees of the company tried to stop him, but he said, you all can go home if you want, but I have orders and I will work. If cycles are not manufactured, then for a time the dealers will understand that the strike is not working, but how will we explain the mind of a child whose parents have promised to get him a cycle on his birthday? The hearts of many such children will be broken because of our strike. But I will not let this happen, I will fulfill the promise made by every parent who has promised to get their child a cycle. These were the words of O.M. Prakash Munjal, one of the owners of Hero Cycles. It was the Munjal brothers who took Hero Cycles to every nook and corner of the world. Journey of Hero began in Pakistan. It all began with Brijmohan Lal Munjal and his three brothers, Dayanand Munjal, Satyanand Munjal, and O.M. Prakash Munjal, who were born to Bahadur Chan Munjal and Thakur Devi in a Punjabi Hindu family from Kamalaya, now in Pakistan. Their father raised his children by running a grain shop and everything was going well, but the unfortunate partition snatched everything from them. Hindus and Sikhs, living in Pakistan, had to return to India. Munjal's brother was also part of the exodus, took loan of Rs 50,000 from bank to start Hero. After partition, the Munjal brothers started a small business of bicycle spare parts in Amritsar but didn't get enough profits. So they decided to shift base to Ludhiana, Punjab and took a loan of Rs 50,000 from the bank to set up a workshed for the manufacture of bicycle parts and assembly of bicycles in 1956. The rest, as they say, is history. And history was created. Within no time these brothers understood that it is better to manufacture bicycles by themselves than to make and sell bicycle parts. After this Hero Cycles started making 25 cycles a day. Moonjal Brothers and Hero Cycles was on track and gradually their speed of making cycles also increased. By 1966, the company started producing one lock cycles a year. But the journey did not stop here, in the next 10 years, the company started manufacturing more than five lock cycles annually. By 1986, Hero Cycles had created history by producing more than 22 lock cycles every year. Hero became the world's largest bicycle maker. You can imagine their success from the fact that the company, which was once making 25 cycles a day started producing 19,000 cycles every day in the 1980s. In 1986, Hero Cycles' name was recorded in the Guinness Book of World Records as the world's largest bicycle manufacturer. Hero Cycles exports bicycles to 89 countries in the Middle East, Africa, Asia and Europe, including India, with a market share of 48 percenter. The Big Thinking of Moonjal's Brothers In 1990 Hero left other companies far behind in the bicycle market. The hard work and determination of the Munjal brothers had a big hand in the success of Hero Cycles. As the company grew, the Munjal brothers always took their dealers, workers and customers along. They knew that they should sell their cycles at any cost, and no matter how much profit they earned, their sales should not go down. They gave a share to the dealers in the company's profit. This kept the employees and dealers trust in Hero Cycles. In 1980, a truck loaded with Hero Cycles got burnt after an accident. Instead of thinking about their losses, the Munjal brothers asked about the driver's health and ordered the management to send a fresh consignment to the dealer. Because according to them the accident was not the dealer's fault so why 
should he compensate them for their loss. The success of Hero appreciated around the world. The management of Hero Cycles was so brilliant that it was praised by the BBC and the World Bank. Along with this, a case study for entrepreneurship was done on Hero Company by London Business School and INSEED France. The success of Hero can be gauged from the fact that in 2004 it was given the status of a super brand by Britain. The Hero Company manufactured more than 140 million cycles and has more than 7,500 outlets worldwide where more than 30,000 people work. Journey of Hero Motors Apart from cycles, Moonjal Brothers also produce products like cycle components, automotive components, IT services under the banner of Hero Group. Many of these products are produced under Hero Motors. After establishing its supremacy in the world of bicycles, Hero Group started manufacturing two-wheelers under the name of Hero Majestic in collaboration with Steyr Daimler Puck of Austria. After this, in 1984, Hero joined hands with the Japanese two-wheeler manufacturer Honda to establish Hero Honda Motors Limited. This company launched the first bike CD100 on April 13, 1985. After working together for about 27 years, these two companies separated in 2011, and then Hero started Hero Moto Corp. At present, this company makes 75 lock cycles every year. Talking about the Munjal brothers, the eldest brother Dayanand Munjal said goodbye to this world in 2015. The other three brothers died within a year. Omprakash Munjal passed away on August 13, 2015, Bridge Mohan Lal Munjal on November 1, 2015, and Satyanand Munjal on April 14, 2016. Now Pankaj Munjal, son of O.M. Prakash Munjal runs the company.